So the last video got cut off, sorry guys, and that was due to charging problem. <laughs> Thought it was charging, but it wasn't, some cable problem. So I was saying uh, on the la towards the end there, he says, uh, when I woke, I thanked the Lord for putting Trump at the steering wheel of America once again. When is that going to happen, Lord? We're waiting. We're waiting for making him so direct and unswerving in his determination. I was told that the Lord made him uh, like this just for this period of history. To fight for his people, Israel, and the church. I think others, others have probably got this from the Lord. It's made him just like this, you know. We just say he's a bull in a china shop. And, you know, he is egotistical, but he's just like a lot of people, full of, full of themselves. And God is not done fighting for us, so the Lord will use his vessel, his vessel, his servant Trump, for his purposes until he accomplishes them. Just like he did Cyrus, just like he did Israel, um, just like he did, you know, um, Jehu. J-E-H, you go look at that. Jonathan Kahn talks about him. Praise the Sovereign Lord. Praise Him who you who are called. Praise Him, you who are called. Praise Him for the great victory today. Witness the mighty hand of the Lord and watch in awe. Right? Watch in awe. Now, He's going to have a landslide victory. But we don't know when this is going to be. I, I, I always feel like it's right around the corner. The God's in control of timing. He did say, after a long while, I noticed that, when he got back, I asked, why so long? He, he came back to the van. It's like, why so long? So he had to work things out. He had to work relationships out with certain key people. And so, a judge. I don't know what that's all about. So, he knows, the Lord knows, Witness the mighty hand of the Lord and watch in awe. We will be in awe. His opposition is like dried grass. And he is about to burn it all up. Watch in awe. Yeah, I, I still stand by what God shows me. You know, wakes me up with these crystal clear dreams. I'm, I'm standing with what God shows me. You know, I don't know the timing, but I usually wear a hat. <laughs> so I'm not used to having hair all over the place. Now on uh, February 27, 2021, as I create this page, because I put a lot of these things in, in journals, or there are voice recordings when they happen, I can see the great work that God has done through Trump to expose vast systematic problems, issues that are going on in the United States that have been there for a long time, systemic problems, and that uh, now especially are coming out which have been infiltrated, and we're finding out all kinds of foreign interference. All kinds of foreign interference has been involved. Um, all kinds of fraud. And I can't go into details, but you can read all the details out at, the, uh, out at WordPress. It's a free speech, this link. I have to work within the boundaries of every single platform. So on this video, I'm walking down the middle. Uh, there's less, there's more, uh, you know, I guess, more freedom, freedom of speech, First Amendment rights, out at WordPress. The mainstream media, the liberal courts, and big tech are doing everything in their power, and we've seen this, to, uh, to hide what's going on. A lot of lawsuits have exposed them, whistleblowers. Um, domino effect now is going to start kicking in. When one lawsuit is won against big tech, uh, or Google or whatever it is, it's going to create a domino effect and against the government. The lawsuits are being won against the government, the military. So this is going to continue to domino effect. Precedence of law works that way. And I'm excited. It's going to take a while. It takes a long time. The court system is really messed up. But I've seen hundreds of eyewitnesses and data analysts and experts in computers uh, talking about this, and you can't hide the truth forever. 
you know, Galileo was censored, um, Copernicus was censored, but the truth came out. <laughs> they were right. Catholic Church was wrong. Even though they paid off all the you know, expert witnesses, they paid off uh, the legislature, the state, the, the government, they were in control. So it's whoever has all the gold makes all the rules. Rules for thee, but not for me. Even um, I saw 45 hours of state legislatures debating all this. Um, I saw, you know, all kinds of independent council type stuff going on and exposing a lot. Uh, but then a lot of things just get swept under the rug. It's just really weird. A lot of people are still getting bought off, bribed. Open the bank accounts. Start giving some double uh, independent lie detector tests. Now, you don't get the truth if you have lie detector tests independently run, two of them. Make sure, you know, this is like... You can't believe a positive on COVID because they've proven that it, it's not reliable tests. So then they have to give a second and a third. And, you know, I, a lot of doctors have talked about this. Even the CDC and the NIH talk about this. So, and they're part of the problem instead of part of the solution. So all the evidence is being destroyed. You know, they're covering their tracks. They're picking up the breadcrumbs. Um, but not everybody gets away. Uh, that's the way it is with organized crime, and that's the way it will be. So just we have to be patient. We have to keep praying, interceding, fighting the good fight of faith, uh, interceding for, for the Lord and his holy angels to reveal all this. And so, yeah, there's a lot of people trying to block access, trying to keep the door shut and locked. And lots of people working with them. So we'll, we're going to see the Lord is greater than all this corruption. Multiple uh, states were suing in the courts. And we're going to see all this play out over time. And, you know, you can't stop the truth. The truth is not a, a thing. It's a human being. <laughs> Jesus Christ became fully human. He was God in the flesh. And he is called the truth. John 14, 6 all the way through the New Testament, whether you see it in your English Bible or not, the definite article is always there. It's always the truth. And the truth is always Jesus Christ. Absolute reality. Analysts all over the world, yeah, journalists too, they're watching this play out. And they're worried that it can happen to them. They're, and, uh, they're laughing at our politicians. <laughs> They are laughing at it. It's just hysterical. Sky News is great. They're laughing at our politicians play their games. While so many people in America have been locked out. They have been locked out. Locked down and locked out of the truth. They've been, you know, it's been hidden from them. But other journalists outside of America, they're talking about all this stuff. So, you can try to get and look at what others are doing their journalism. And they're, they're not being locked out. So they're, they're seeing stuff we're not seeing. God is not done yet with this evil. He will continue to expose the culprits. And their day of reckoning is coming. Trump is not done yet either. <clears throat> God using him for purpose. A lot of people, literally hundreds of thousands of people have seen this. And... Um, he is real. He's really created a whole huge group of people called patriots, and it will crush the rhinos uh, and those who are duplicitous. Um, they, it will crush them. They they will not get out of the way of the steamroller, and those who have collaborated with the Democrats in fraud uh, at almost every la level imaginable. And to this very, this is very similar to what happened in the Roman Empire right before its fall. Right before its fall. Yes, God will allow America to be brought to its knees because of its embrace of sin. For God shall not be mocked, uh, for they will reap what they have sown. And because of this, their prayers to heaven through uh, because of the because of their prayers to heaven, through the great misery that is going to come, a lot of darkness, a lot of misery. Because this is what happened to God's people in Israel. Same thing. They they rebelled. They did not support the prophets, 
and they went along with the fake news and the world, and they were judged with the world. They were judged. And misery comes, and God will pour out His Spirit in the greatest revival the world has ever seen. Because God's people will get on their knees. They will repent because they're God's people. And they will start really praying and interceding and having faith and crying out to God and waiting upon Him. And then that's when God says, now I have partners. Now I have people that are fully in on my side. And now I can do an amazing thing, an avalanche that will absolutely shake the earth. An avalanche of truth, he said, is coming that will absolutely shake the earth. But only when they have repented in mass. It's not everyone. You can't get everybody to repent. But it's it's really that almost like that 80-20 Pareto principle. Things happen at 80-20. And forgiveness and blessing only come after confession, repentance, and surrender. Go look at those links. Confession, repentance, and surrender. This is when amazing things happen. Because God gives grace to the humble, the lowly. But opposes. He stands with his back laid locked. He will not budge against the proud, the arrogant. And we'll see what happens. So thank you for hanging in there on two parters on this dream. And go ahead and put your ideas down on the comments. What God has shown you, that would be very encouraging. What has God shown you? Has, has God shown you really? You know it's God. Yeah, I know it's God. Inside out, I know it's God. So I can't wait to see. And I'm, I'm consistent with so many others that I've heard from God, you know, that have heard from God. I know that they've heard from God. And you, know, you can see by a tree, by uh, the fruit, you shall know them, you know. So we are going to go to another video. God bless. Bye-bye.